30 Signs You Might Be an Empire Simp There are many hardcore simps for the U.S. Empire. It's not entirely their fault. The Empire has the most sophisticated propaganda machine ever devised, and most Westerners have been marinating in its influence their entire lives. But it does happen, and it's good to bring awareness to it. Here, then, are 30 signs that you might be an Empire simp. 1. You get triggered whenever anyone highlights the well-documented Western provocations that paved the way to the war in Ukraine. 2. You think Putin invaded Ukraine solely because he is evil and hates freedom, and the U.S. is pouring weapons into the nation because it loves Ukrainians and wants to protect their freedom and democracy. 3. You're more interested in Trump's mugshot than the Western-backed atrocities in Yemen or starvation sanctions in Syria. 4. You can listen to Tony Blinken talk without wanting to throw trash at his head. 5. You understand that the last time there was a credible foreign military threat near the U.S. border, the U.S. responded so aggressively that it almost ended the world, yet you demand that Russia and China accept U.S. military threats on their borders. 6. You think the U.S. is filling Australia with war machinery because it loves Australians and wants to protect them from China. 7. You believe the world's most destructive military force is encircling its number one geopolitical rival with war machinery as a defensive measure. 8. You live in the most propagandized population on Earth and make jokes about North Korean propaganda. 9. You live in the most propagandized population on Earth and spend your time fretting about Russian propaganda. 10. You think the title of the most murderous and tyrannical regime on Earth belongs to any government besides Washington. 11. You live under the most murderous and tyrannical power structure on Earth and yet spend your time shrieking about tyranny in Asian countries. 12. You want to see Vladimir Putin tried for war crimes before George W. Bush. 13. You believe Western interventionism has ever had anything to do with spreading freedom and democracy or protecting humanitarian interests. 14. You find protests in places like Iran, Venezuela, or Cuba much more interesting than protests in places like France, Haiti, or Chile. 15. You unironically call NATO a defensive alliance. 16. You rend your garments about China preparing to seize control of Taiwan by military force without ever acknowledging that the U.S. Empire is preparing to do the exact same thing. 17. You've ever believed for even one second that the U.S. government gives a fuck about Muslims in China. 18. You oppose guns, except when they're being used to kill foreigners overseas. 19. You claim you oppose the misdeeds of all governments equally, but find yourself spending most of your time yelling at people who criticize U.S. foreign policy online. 20. You've ever accused anyone who criticizes U.S. foreign policy of secretly working for Russia or China. 21. You've ever accused someone who criticizes Israel of being an anti-Semite. 22. You think being anti-war means putting a Ukraine flag in your Twitter bio. 23. You think the troops have ever fought for your freedom at any time since you've been alive. 24. You think the invasion of Iraq had anything to do with liberating the Iraqi people. 25. You think the destruction of Libya had anything to do with protecting Libyans. 26. You think the West arming Al-Qaeda in Syria had anything to do with advancing the interests of Syrians. 27. You think U.S. escalations against Russia and China have anything to do with national security. 28. You think the Department of Defense has anything to do with defense. 29. You think it's okay for the U.S. to keep waging wars, destroying nations, starving civilian populations with economic sanctions, instigating proxy wars, arming neo-Nazis and violent jihadists, staging coups and persecuting journalists, because if it doesn't do those things, the world might be taken over by evil tyrants. 30. 
you were bothered by any item on this list.